Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has asked Qatar for 1 million metric tons of liquefied natural gas. BNP's movement is not as loud in reality, said Kader. Government will be overthrown by uprising, comments Fokrul. More than 2,000 houses burnt in Balukhali Rohingya camp, another died in Shitakundo explosion. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to My TV English News. I'm Ashiku Zaman with you in the newsroom today. You're watching the headlines. Now, the details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has asked Qatar for 1 million metric tons of liquefied natural gas annually to meet Bangladesh's growing energy demand. Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani of Qatar has assured to stand by Bangladesh to meet the energy demand. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina made this request in a meeting with the Emir of Qatar at the Qatar National Convention Center in Doha on Sunday. Later, Foreign Minister A.K. Abdul Mumin briefed the reporters. He said that Emir of Qatar has sincerely responded to the Prime Minister's request. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina invited the Emir of Qatar to visit Bangladesh. Abdul Mumin said that Emir of Qatar will visit Bangladesh this year. Awami League General Secretary, Road Transport and Bridges Minister Ubaidul Qadir have commented that BNP's movement is not as loud. He said that Awami League will deal with BNP if it commits violence. He said this during an exchange of views with journalists at the Secretariat in the morning. Ubaidul Qadir also said that a survey is being conducted every three months on members of parliament and only those who are eligible will be nominated in the next election. BNP Secretary General Mirza Fokrul Islam Alumgir has said that people have also woken up with the BNP and the government will be overthrown through a popular uprising. He said these things at a press conference at the party chairperson's political office in Gulshan in the morning. Mirza Fokrul also alleged that the government is planning and using the police to wipe out the BNP leaders before the election. More than 2,000 houses have been burned to ashes in Balukhali Rohingya camp in Ukhia of Cox's Bazar. One person has already been arrested as a suspect in the incident. The incident happened around 3 p.m. on Sunday. The fire was brought under control after two hours. Relief and Repatriation Commissioner Mizanur Rahman said that the work of preparing the damaged list is going on. Initially, it is estimated that more than 2,000 houses have been burned. Among them are 35 Muslims Kyoto and mosques and madrasas. He also said that 15 institutions including hospitals and health centers were burned. How the fire originated is being investigated. Pravash Lal Sharma died under treatment in Shima oxygen plant blast in Shitakundo. The death toll rose to seven. He died in the ICU of Chattogram Medical College Hospital around 10 p.m. last night. Pravash Lal Sharma was the operator of Shima oxygen plant in Shitakundo. He was admitted in a coma during injuries on his head and various parts of his body. An explosion occurred at Shima steel oxygen plant in Keshapur area of Gadam Rasulpur on Saturday afternoon. Several kilometers area was shaken by the terrible explosion. Fragments of the blasted steel fell in an area about half a kilometer around the site of the incident. It caused casualties. Viewers were taking a short break. When we're coming back, Nearly 200 countries agreed to a legally binding seed treaty to protect marine life. Bangladesh is facing England in the third and last ODI of the series in Chattogram.
Welcome back, you're watching My TV English News. Three students were killed as an unidentified bus hit the motorcycle on Hatikumrul Bonpara Highway at Manan Nagar under Tarash Upojela in Shirazganj on early Monday. Hatikumrul Highway Police said that the three students made the fatal accident while heading towards Natur from Shirazganj. At about 6.30 a.m., an unidentified bus hit their motorcycle at Manan Nagar and left them dead on the spot. He said that police were trying to identify the bus and added that their bodies were taken to the police station. The police officer said that the victim's family members came to police station to receive the bodies. Now international news. Nearly 200 countries have agreed to a legally binding high seas treaty to protect marine life in international waters which covers around half of the planet's surface but have long been essentially lawless. The agreement was signed on Saturday evening after two weeks of negotiations at the United Nations headquarters in New York ended in a mammoth final session of more than 36 hours but it has been two decades in the making. The high seas are sometimes called the world's last true wilderness. The huge stretch of water, everything that lies 200 nautical miles beyond countries' territorial water makes up more than 60% of the world's ocean by surface area. At least nine security personnel were killed and 13 others injured in a suicide attack on them in Pakistan's restive Balochistan province. On Monday, police said the blast near the truck of Balochistan constabulary personnel occurred on the Kembri Bridge on the Quetta CB Highway. However, the exact nature of the blast could not be ascertained after investigations. He said that a bomb disposal team reached the site of the incident and the area is being searched after the explosion. The Ukrainian troops are continu continuing a difficult and different battle against the Russian troops in eastern Donbas region. President Volodymyr Zelensky expressed respect and gratitude to all those soldiers. Zelensky spoke to the Ukrainian general staff after receiving a report on the war situation. He said the troops had repealed more than 130 enemy attacks in the previous day, including Kupinsk, Leyman and Bakhmut and Admika. He said Ukrainian soldiers resisted the enemy's attack. They destroyed the occupier. Meanwhile, Ukraine has vowed to protect the Bakhmut for, for, fortress. Russian troops, on the other hand, continue to attack to take under the control. We're about to the end the headlines once again. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has asked Qatar for 1 million metric tons of liquefied natural gas. BNP's movement is not as loud in reality, said Qatar. Government will be overthrown by uprising, comments Fokrul. More than 2,000 houses burned in Balukhali Rohingya camp, another died in Shitakundo explosion. Nearly 200 countries agreed to a legally binding high seas treaty to protect marine life. And Bangladesh is facing England in the third and last ODI of the series in Chattogram. That's all for now. To watch our news online, please visit YouTube slash MyTV News. To watch our old program, please visit YouTube slash MyTV Bangla and Facebook slash MyTV Bangla. Our next news bulletin will be telecast at 7.30 p.m. in Bangla. Stay tuned. Allah Hafiz.